this uh, plus subscription charges which is going to reduce drastically and the offer is valid till tomorrow then these are the batch courses which are starting for your uh, NEET PG 2023 exams in the form of complete theory course as well as TND course. And the prices are increasing soon. So if you want to avail the subscription, this is the right time. Clearly audible and visible now. So we'll be solving certain questions which are previous year questions and certain questions mixed back. First of all, try to answer this question. A 25 year old male presents with consumption of an unknown substance. His respiratory rate is high. Pulse rate is 110. This is also high. Blood pressure is also raised. And he has two episodes of seizures. These, there are tremors and hallucinations associated features given in the question. The substance ingested most likely. Let us try to rule out the options and let us try to solve the question. All of you know that alcohol is a CNS depressant. These are excitatory features. So yes, I can rule out ethanol. I can rule out oxycodone or any opioid agent based on there is no finding suggestive of respiratory depression. Tazepam is used as anticonvulsant. Here the person is having hallucinations and seizures. So yes, by ruling out options also, my answer comes out to be option A. And directly also my answer is option A. Why? Because we know that amphetamine belongs to psychotropic substances group. And it is a potent hallucinogen. So yes, hallucinations are very common. Then in CNS, it increases your levels of dopamine, serotonin, as well as norepinephrine. This so yes, all the excitatory features, all the psychotic features will be seen. It leads to amphetamine psychosis. And that is why the person gets a euphoric feeling. He is totally confused. He is totally agitated. Then what about the vitals? All the vital parameters are raised. Yes. What about pupil? What about pupil? So just like our cocaine and LSD, this is also a mitriatic. It leads to dilated pupil. And this is one poison which increases the suicidal tendencies. It increases suicidal tendencies in the addicts. Suicidal tendencies. So these are the clinches which help us to solve such questions. Can, now the person has consumed something. Na? He has consumed some unknown substance. It is never nowhere written that the person is uh, uh, alcoholic and he has left alcohol. So, yes, the answer has to be option A, amphetamine poison. So this is the repeat uh, UPSC CMS exam question. Let us now come to the proper all India exam question. All of you trying to answer this one. First hand knowledge refers to which type of witness? First hand knowledge refers to common witnesses. Refers to common witnesses. Who is a common witness? I can say a person who has seen the crime occurring, also called as eyewitness of the case. So obviously, those witnesses they have the first hand knowledge about the crime. Now, after the crime has occurred, the dead body is sent for autopsy. During autopsy, with my expertise, I will look over the injuries over the body, I will find out the cause of death, time since death. I become an expert witness, but I have I don't have the first hand knowledge. First knowledge will always reside with common witnesses who are defined in these witnesses have been defined in 118 section of Indian Evidence Act. And according to this section, all ages are competent to be common witnesses. 
the final maturity of understanding will be decided by the judge but even small children can become common witness similarly expert witness is defined in 45 section of indian evidence act any witness whose findings related to a case or opinion related to a case is admissible in the courtroom so those witnesses they become expert witnesses for their cases hostile witness as such is not defined but yes it simply means a witness who turns away from previous previous uh, whatever he has said previous statement he is now turning up answer this one urine sample during autopsy is preserved all these are previous year questions of our all india as well as inict exam urine sample during autopsy is preserved in now to preserve urine we don't use rs rs means rectified spirit which is nothing but obviously sort of rs itself because it contains 95% ethyl alcohol itself makes your rectified spirit this is overall the best visceral organ preservative then saturated saline solution is also most commonly used visceral preservative thymol is your answer of choice yes what is the role of formalin formalin has no role during poison detection formalin role is for histopathology histopathology so for any samples which are to be sent to pathology department the organs or the tissues they are kept in 10% formalin while these top 3 preservatives they are preservatives used during autopsy where our target is poison detection very good answer this one all are features of male skull except this is a direct repeat of our aims exam itself all are features of male skull correct answer goes with option d yes without any doubt so this is the basic line which we covered during our classes too that how to say that a skull bone which has been brought by a police department brought by police to forensic department how can you say that the skull belongs to a male or a female by remembering the basic line and this is the basic line all the features are large and prominent in male skull except frontal and parietal eminence which are prominent in females then females have got three things round in relation to skull and mandibular area what are those structures quickly enumerate which structures are said to be round in females which helps us solve our questions so females have got round forehead females have got round chin and females have got round orbits so by remembering the this basic line and remembering this fact you can solve any question related to differences what is the accuracy by if the policeman has brought only skull bone what is your accuracy of gender determination how much percentage accuracy is if the policeman has only skull bone accuracy comes down to 90 percent accuracy comes down to 90 so this one cricketer got hit by a ball and fainted We will revise that Krogman's table. We have another question related to that. Answer this one. A cricketer got hit by ball and fainted. After some time, he regained consciousness and again fainted. This phenomena is mostly associated with. So the person was unconscious. He regained his consciousness and again becomes unconscious. Yes, we know that this phase of consciousness is referred to as lucid interval, and this is mostly associated with extradural hemorrhage. If EDH is not in the option, your second best answer goes with SDH. 
it is not pathonomic for EDH, it can be seen in SDH cases too. This term is related to insanity too, where we say period of sanity between two insanity phases, there it is called lucid interval in forensic psychiatry. Answer this one. During visceral preservation while conducting autopsy on a dead body, stomach is preserved with intestine in one jar. In another jar, liver is preserved with which other all? In another jar, liver is preserved with which other all? The best answer here goes with always always kidneys why because the question is a basic question the basic thing of visceral preservation if you have understood you will always mark your answer as kidneys why because the examiner is telling you that the stomach has been preserved with intestine in one jar and this is what we do so i can detect my poison if it was in absorptive phase this is the information given then an, another jar liver is preserved so you, they are also telling you that the metabolic phase of the poison is covered. Now, which phase is left? Excretory phase. To cover the excretory phase, we need to preserve the kidneys. So, kidneys will be a better answer as compared to spleen. That is the role of organ preservation. Na? During autopsy, we are not aware whether the poison is maximally in absorptive phase, metabolic phase, or excretory phase. So, we preserve all these organs like our stomach like our 30 centimeter of proximal small intestine 500 grams of liver with gallbladder spleen is plus minus you can or you cannot preserve depending on the case and then half of both the kidneys this is the basic thing regarding visceral preservation we preserve all this so that the poison detection can be done okay. because during autopsy we are not aware na, whether the poison is in absorptive metabolic phase. So whatever may be the phase we will be detecting so basically we use two jars during visceral preservation. So this is a repeat question of FMG exams. A nicely framed question. Answer this one. The toxin extracted from the poisonous plant shown in image is which of the following? Understood why? The toxin extracted from the poisonous plant shown in images. This poisonous plant needs to be identified, and this is our the Tura fruit, single fruit with long spikes. And what is the active principle in the Tura? Hyosin, hyosimin, and atropin itself. Yes, hyosin goes as the answer of choice. Thebane, morphine, codeine, and thebane. They are basically natural opioids what is tetrahydrocannabinol option d this is the active principle of cannabis cannabis the active principle of cannabis. now answer this one this is another question related to that progman's accuracy table so here we'll be doing a quick recap of this table this Frogman's table tells us the accuracy of gender determination from bundle of bones or skeletal remains recovered by a policeman. As per Krogman's table, gender assessment in child is best done by which of the following? The best answer goes with yes, always, always hip. Why? Because this table tells us that if a policeman has brought all 206 bones, If the policeman has brought all 206 bones, your accuracy of gender determination is 100%. If he has brought pelvis, P for pelvis, matlab hip, correlates with your hip, pelvis plus skull gives us an accuracy of 98% for gender determination or gender assessment. If the policeman has only pelvis bone with him, then also the accuracy is very high, roughly about 95%. With skull, the accuracy decreases to, if you have only skull, the accuracy further decreases to 90. Seeing the intensity of questions which are asked from this table, simple table. So we need to revise such things which are asked repeatedly again and again. 
so that silly mistakes are not this is how the questions are asked from your Krogman's table suppose next time hip is not in the option what will be your next best answer suppose hip is not in the option some other bone is there or they have given foot bones so in the absence of hip our next best answer will be skull yes without any doubt so we need to remember this at least this much data to solve any such questions answer this one a female after four years of marriage died and one note was recovered from her mentioning that she was tortured for dowry in this case inquest will be done by who will do the inquest or inquiry into the case the correct answer goes with the moment you see that the female was tortured for dowry and the death has occurred after four years that means you will recall that how do you define dowry death if the death of a female has occurred within seven years of marriage and if it is proved that just before death she was tortured for dowry demand either by husband or by any relative of the husband the case becomes a case of dowry death and this is one of the cases which is investigated by magistrates carpal bones in the previous question carpal bones as such uh, has not been categorized by progments what it kalyani uh, carpal bones have not been categorized by in the progments table but they have also mentioned that if the policeman has only long bones that includes all other long bones and their accuracy will come out to be 80 percent Huh, suppose they they have the in a 12 year old child then we are trying to do gender assessment carpals will have a role for age estimation in this age group i understood got your point no? so yes pc form ossifies by 9 to 12 years this we know so if pc form is appearing on x-ray the child is a 12 year old child that we can say with help of carpals there you are correct if your intention was for age estimation it happens what is the minimum punishment for dowry death seven years maximum is life in prison ah, for age best is left hand and wrist x-ray the method is called for age estimation in a child age group we have read now the age estimation is best done by left hand and wrist x-ray the method was derived by grillic and piles grillic piles method so remember the name there carpals lower end of radius lower end of ulna those things are seen in grillic piles method where left hand and wrist x-ray is taken for age estimation answer this one. A female faked pregnancy and presented a real newborn to blackmail a guy for sexual assault resulting in pregnancy. Read it carefully. A female faked pregnancy and presented a real newborn to blackmail a guy for sexual assault resulting in pregnancy. What is correct about this case? Yeah, sahi is case. What is correct about this case? So this is what is this is what is called supposititious child supposititious child yes this spurious pregnancy is false pregnancy but here see the lines of the question the female faked pregnancy presented a real newborn to blackmail a guy what is correct about this case they are they are basically trying to ask you what is this real newborn which has been presented by the female this real newborn is basically legally called as supposititious child or fictitious child 
fictitious child. And this curious pregnancy is a term, it is not faked, it is false pregnancy. It is due to it is due to psychogenic causes that the female has a belief that she is pregnant. Well, actually, she is not. So, this is also called false pregnancy, spurious pregnancy, or phantom pregnancy. There is no intention as such. There is no motive behind false pregnancy. But this faked pregnancy was a having a motive. So, usually, these females they steal newborns from hospitals and they present the newborn to be belonging to be of a male. But DNA analysis will confirm the paternity. So, yes, that child is called, that false child is called supposititious or fictitious child. This is called spurious pregnancy is also called false pregnancy or phantom pregnancy. These are synonyms. Superfecundation and fetation, I think everyone is aware of. This we have covered in our classes nicely. Yes, yes, due to psychogenic causes. The reason for the psychogenic causes can be traumatic, can be emotional factors, emotional liability, multiple factors are there. All lies in the mind. Answer this one. Stains over clothes when examined resulted in yellow color needle shaped crystals on microscopy. The examined stain which we are talking about is which of the following? Stains over clothes when examined resulted in yellow color needle shaped crystals are seen in which test and it is done for. Ah, another name is pseudosiasis. Correct, Kalyan. Very good. Another name for this false pregnancy is pseudosiasis. Here the answer will go with semen. Correct. So the name of the test is, there are two tests for semen sample, microscopic test, boyfriend test, B4, Barbarios, where we get yellow color needle shaped crystals, F4, Florence, where we get dark brown rhombic crystals. Here the yellow needle shaped crystals are made up of spermin, picrate. Here the crystals are made up of choline, iodide. The source of spermin is the minor vesicle or prostate. The crystals are of spermin picrate. Picric acid is the reagent. It is the source of spermin. The minor vesicle or prostate. Answer always, always goes with if you see spermin, we need to remember the R of spermin in relation to R of prostate. And that will reduce our semen stain. Tigmans kaise ho jayega? Tigmans mein output kya hota hai? Tigmans mein output hota hai light brown rhombic crystals. Tigmans kaise ho jayega? Yes, look over the color, look over the shape. It has to be semen. Here the answer cannot be blood sample. Boyfriend, boy has semen sample. Boyfriend tests are for seminal stains. And here the source of choline is an organ having lots of L alphabet in the form of seminal vesicle. Vesicle. Iodine in the form of potassium iodide is the reagent here. So the target alphabet to be remembered here is L. L of choline, L of florence. Here the target alphabet is R. R of spermin, R of prostate, R of barbarios. Clear, I think these are the two alphabets which should be remembered so that you recall the organs also nicely. The source of these. Answer this one. A dead body comes with neck bone having clean cut margins, crushed tissues with vertebral bone disruptions. What type of wound we are talking about? This wound ki baat ho What type of wound? We are talking about the correct answer goes with yes, yes, correct, correct. The 
the correct answer goes with chop roots the moment you see clean cut margins what should strike to our mind is that the weapon was having a sharp edge correct that the weapon was having a sharp edge the moment you see crushed tissues so you will recall that crushing will occur due to large amount of force or the weapon should be heavy i can say that the weapon is a sharp edge weapon and it should be heavy heavy weight and best example of such a weapon i will recall can be axe or meat choppers and then i will recall that yes these weapons lead to chop wounds what are chop wounds any wound where there is large gaping between the two margins and the wound is having clean cut margins the gaping is like this between the two edges and there will be extensive damage why because the weapon was a heavy weapon such wounds are called chop wounds gaping of a wound is determined by which lines over skin surface just the name of those lines gaping of a chop wound this gaping is determined by which lines over skin surface answer is langer's line so they usually run in opposite direction so for gaping what should happen suppose the langer's line are like this for gaping what should happen that the wound should be perpendicular if the wound is perpendicular there will be large gaping between the two edges langer's line langer's line not blashko's line blashko's line are developmental lines langer's baki sare options rule out ho jate hain incised wound is produced by a sharp edge weapon but it can be by a light weighted knife also laceration is not going to be your answer based on the margins stabbing nothing is given regarding the stabbing that the depth of the wound is more than length so yes all other options are easily ruled out by ruling out options you can solve the question answer this one rotten egg odor is associated with rotten egg is associated with hydrogen sulfide rotten fish odor is associated with aluminium phosphide and zinc phosphide and zinc they give rotten fish like odor these two poisons then what is the odor of arsenic answer goes with garlic and it is also by your phosphorus poisoning this garlic odor garlic has many differentials arsenic phosphorus organo phosphorus compounds and aluminium phosphide basically aluminium phosphide gives two types of odors garlicky as well as rotten fish like ho gaya all the most important odors we have revised that odor table which has been alphabetically arranged you need to go through so it has been alphabetically arranged let us do a quick recap acrid pear like odor is due to chloral hydrate preferred as an answer over peraldehyde acetone apple like odor is due to chloroform and ethanol a alphabet is done come to b alphabet bitter almond odor cyanides burnt rope odor cannabis 90% of the table we have revised right rotten fish so going alphabetically a b is done then come to g garlic odor then kerosene like odor is due to opc pesticides where the manufacturing company has used this solvent called aromax solvent so only those opcs who have this solvent they will have a kerosene like odor but the inherent odor of opcs is garlic so after g comes your k e ke baad kya aata hai r r for rotten fish and rotten egg this is done r alphabet is done come to s alphabet shoe polish odor is due to nitro benzene poison this is how we should revise the table alphabetically a b like this going till s so that's all for today for any queries do 
share your queries in my telegram group in the name of fmt concepts fmt in capital concepts in small चलो दिन पबई